When is a last dance not just a last dance? Is it when you qualify for the major? Is it when you take down Team Liquid at said major? Or is it when you make it back to the legend stage? As part of a celebration of us bringing the major to Rio, hi by the way, let's have a little chat about Imperial. The old dogs smacking some new tricks around. Let's start at the beginning. It's fair to say not everyone was on board with the rendezvous. We're not saying they had a lot of haters, but the idea wasn't exactly universally praised either. If you think Fallen and Co give a solitary fuck about any of that though, you haven't been here too long. These are the guys who won majors, put Brazil on the map and became legends in their own right. You don't do that by listening to Ryan at Dust2. Initial results were encouraging, but nobody expected them to get much further. Nobody outside of Brazil, anyway. Some solid results over 9Z and teams like Mal's NXT showed there was life in the old boys yet, but it was a win over NA's favourite underdogs party astronauts that started to perk some ears up. Not because they beat them as such, I mean these are some of the greatest players ever to play the game against some plucky upstarts, but because it meant they were in the major. Yes FNX, yes major. Qualification, at least. Making it there was already an achievement, but these guys have made a career out of going above and beyond. While they got bopped by Team Spirit in Game 1, we now know that there's no shame in that. Imperial hit back by popping another great American hope, Team Liquid. I lost a fan favourites Bad News Eagles, check out our video on those lads while you're here, put Imperial on the brink of elimination. IHC were next up to bat, and though it got dicey on map 1, Imperial stood tall with the pressure on. Fours, however, looked like they might be one step too far. They clapped those force cheeks, dropping just 10 rounds in two maps. And so, just like that, Brazil's greatest became legends. Again. The ending of this tale looked like it might not just be bleak, but early too. Big nailed them and Monacy saw through the smoke and mirrors to put them 0-2. Fallen never gives up. Imperial bodied the Bad News Eagles, who you might remember a few minutes ago took them down in the earlier stage, to set up a 1-2 game against Cloud9's new quintet. Once more, the old dogs taught the new tricks a lesson in performing under pressure. Imperial were 2-2, two and two, and they just had to beat the Copenhagen Flames to return to the playoffs of a fucking major. Sh should we just pretend that they did it? We'll leave this bit up in the air, we could, we could all pretend that Romeo survived and he and Juliet lived happily ever after. Alas, they didn't. That final hurdle was just too much. We're gonna inhale the copium and say they're saving it for Rio. Just imagine. Fallen lifting the trophy in Rio for the first Brazilian major on his real last dance. Now that is a future we all want to live in.